Only on four Willacy County residents want to know why eight liners are still operating in their area. CBS 4's Tiffany Huertas tracked down District Attorney Annette Hinojosa to ask her that question. In her first interview since taking office in January, Annette Hinojosa says she's talked with her counterparts in Hidalgo County and Cameron County about their crackdowns on eight liners and asked Willacy County residents to be patient. CBS 4 News spent weeks asking Willacy County District Attorney Annette Hinojosa for an interview. We wanted to know why Willacy County hasn't cracked down on eight liners. Since taking office in January 1st, um, have you closed down any eight liners? No, we have not. Um, I know that I've been, I suppose, trying to catch up on backlogs of cases. Eight liner establishments, sometimes called maquinitas or game rooms, allow customers to play slot machine style games. In Texas, though, slot machine style gambling is illegal. Eight liners may only reward players with prizes worth $5 or less, and they can't pay cash. When Hidalgo County and Star County cracked down on eight liners, they didn't find any game rooms that were actually following the law. When the gambling stopped, crowds stopped coming. In Willacy County, investigators haven't conducted any raids, and the crowds keep coming. Hinojosa said she met with Hidalgo County District Attorney Ricardo Rodriguez and Cameron County District Attorney Luis Sainz, who both launched operations targeting eight-liners. Uh, both DA Rodriguez and DA Sainz have, have already done this once and, uh, and, and still ongoing. There's, they, they crop up in private places of business or, and now it's not as public and so there's still raids even being committed there. Uh, of course, Willacy County is, is, a, is a lot more open. Inohosa said Willacy County has fewer law enforcement officers and asked residents to be patient. I know people keep getting, I think, uh, irritated by hearing, be patient, be patient. Uh, but I try to tell people, be, be on the other side. And if it were your business or, or your place of work or your uh, uh, home, you would want to make sure that we did our part before we went in there and disrupted your life or your livelihood and making sure that if there's laws being broken, they're going to be held accountable. And when those cases hit this desk, they will be looked at. Meanwhile, people come from across the valley to play eight liners in Willacy County. We get people from Edinburgh, Mc McAllen, Brownsville. On a busy Saturday night, Constable Jose Garza pays close attention to game rooms in Precinct 4 and Precinct 7. Garza says he's seen an increase in traffic. I know that we are spread thin. Uh, we try to help each other out as much as possible. Uh, the sheriff's office does a real good job of coming out here and providing uh, uh, a patrol at night. Garza says residents have many concerns about the eight liners. Uh, they're worried about the criminals, stuff like that activity is going to come into the town. That's what they're worried about. Uh, a lot of it too is the traffic that goes in and out, the people that are walking across the street. Investigators also worry about links between eight liners and organized crime. Prosecutors in Cameron County and Hidalgo County have said they think game rooms may be tied to money laundering. Do you think with more eight liners there'll be a criminal element involved? I really hope there isn't, but we never know, but we can't take that chance. I think, again, as, as long as we're out here and trying to provide a presence uh, out in the community, hopefully we can deter that from happening. Inojosa said prosecutors need to thoroughly investigate before taking any action and asked Willacy County residents to have patience. In the studio, Tiffany Huertas, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.